Hey. Hey, Jim, what's up? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, okay, stop everything you're doing. <laughs> I have the best idea. You need to come to my house. I'm thinking that we should make a brand new income site. Okay, well, what are you thinking? Like, we've got a bunch of websites, so we need something new? No, I'm thinking we should make a brand new income site today, like this afternoon. Like, in one afternoon, make a new income site. Like, something that could actually produce real revenue, but do the whole thing this afternoon. How is How would that even be possible? Is that even possible? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I think we should try it. Let's see what would happen if we just go crazy for one afternoon and just see what we can accomplish. But it's like already after lunchtime. You want me to come I over know. right now? I know, get over here, let's do it. All right, here we go. All right, we gotta figure out a topic. Um, I was thinking something like home printing. Uh, I'm printing a bunch of pictures downstairs and like there's a lot of information on photography sites on just like how to set up a printer but like I want to know like can you set up you know a home printer to print canvases or print on metal you know how is it cheaper to print from home you could do a lot of stuff there home printing I wonder like how big of a audience there is for that I mean I know people are searching it but is that like just going to be professional photographers or I, I don't know. Could be a good idea. Yeah, it could be cool. Um, well, let's let's see what else we got at least. I, I think it could work though. Yeah. Uh, Guitars. I have a guitar in my closet for the last two years that I still don't know how to play. Yeah, that, that rings, that rings um, true for a lot of people, myself included. There are, there is competition for that and it would go a lot to YouTube videos, which we can't really do because we don't know enough to teach. Yeah, good point. That might be a really tough one. Home, um, homesteading, home farming. Home farming could be fun, like raising sheep. <laughs> that could be cool. I, I, I would like to do something like that someday. Yeah. Huh, does that work for like a whole site? Could, are we in a position to do a whole site about that? Probably not the best. I mean, there are a lot of people that are actually doing it that might be in a better position than us. What about like, I know you've been talking about this. What about like putting a tube slide inside your house? Yes, that would be fun. Um, how many posts could we write about that? About tube slides? Uh... Well, only a couple about tube slides, but what if it was like just fun, like cool projects, fun projects around the house, like like burying a trampoline in your backyard so it's level with the ground or making cool play sets. That's cool. That'd be fun. We, You and I both would have a bunch of cell phone pictures of stuff we've done for our families that we could include. Are you almost here? I'm getting close, yeah. All right, well, let's uh, let's start working on a domain name, see what we can get. Okay. Sweet, I'll be right there. All right, obviously we're having a little bit of fun with the presentation of this, but this is all based on actual events. I mean, this is exactly what happened as I was just thinking like, could we do it? Like how fast could we make a website? Uh, and I called up Ricky and we're working on it right now. Um, these are the actual ideas that we kind of talked about in that conversation, getting to where we want to go. So a little bit of this video, you know, we've kind of presented it in a fun way for YouTube, uh, but we like kept track of everything, how long it took to talk about each part of it to actually make uh, an entire income producing site eventually, but do all the work in three hours. So you're along for the ride. Let's go. Hey, you ready? Yeah, let's, let's do go. this. <laughs> got a lot to do. <laughs> All right, we got to get a domain name. I started looking. Um, I'm thinking something that like plays on the fun aspect of it. Fun, like funhouse.com, which is clearly going to be taken. And it kind of be like a carnival. What about, well, we couldn't do anything with like backyard because in the UK they call that a garden. Yeah, that's where um, we're going to go. Yeah, funhouse. What about like the cool house or the cool neighbor. Yeah, that's like, a, you know, whatever parent wants. Yeah, like, like yeah, I'm, I'm going to be the, the cool neighbor that, the, 
kids come to? Is that available? Um, no. <laughs> what about Family Fun House? Nope, family, even Family Fun House, like, would be less carnival. It's $4,300. Okay, how about, um, so what about just like uh, projects that you can do in a short amount of time, you know, uh, something like uh, funfamilyproject.com. Sorry. It's three words. I like to try to keep the domains down to two. Um, or, you know, just keep them as short as possible. Yeah, that is kind of long. But, um, but it's descriptive. It is descriptive. Is it better to be descriptive or brandable? That's true. And for something, well, it depends how big it is. I mean, if right. it's going to be something that's, you know, has a thousand posts and people are going to come back to very frequently, then I say brandable. If it's just going to be a small site, then descriptive. Okay, well, so what is this going to be? Because if we're only ever going to write 30, 40, 50, even 100 articles, then descriptive is probably a good idea. But what we could do is we could start this website and then we could have the creator studio take it later and it, but later right. it could be big. I mean, we starts in three in three hours. Right. And yeah, right, right. So if we're going to do it big, does it even work to just focus on the fun? Would it be better to focus on... Home fun? Home fun. Uh, take taken. Taken. What about home? What about fun, fun, fun? <laughs> Surely fun's going to be taken, but what about fun, fun, fun? Fun, fun, taken. <laughs> Who has that domain I don't know. name? What about fun, 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 fun? Fun, 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 fun <laughs> com. It's taken! No! Add one Who more does fun. That? I just want to know. Add one more fun. Five funs. Fun, 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 fun. It's, it's taken. Take it. <laughs> Who does this? Who I don't are know. These people? Somebody owns all these. Fun, 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 fun. Fun. Six funds. Com. We got it. It's available. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. Six times name. fun. Okay, that is stupid. That's a stupid name. Um, what if it was something around like the cost? What if it was all projects you could do for like $500? Like $500 cool. fun. It limits it to the United States. Oh, that's true. $500 fun. Yeah. But it is so brandable Be and, and very, very memorable. And then you could extend it to like not just projects, but like $500 vacations, $500 Ooh. experiences. Five, I mean, that gives That'd us an avenue. That would be a cool site, It would actually. be a cool site. It's like, I have $500 burning a, pot, a hole in my pocket. What can I do? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's possible. I don't like that it's only U.S. Okay, here's another thing, too. If we're going to do a bigger site and we want a brandable name, does descriptiveness even really matter much at all? I mean, Pinterest, this, this type of site's going to do really, really well on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. And so, you it's know. More important that it's just memorable. Right. And realistically, we're starting a new site that could produce income itself. That's our goal. Exactly. But realistically for us, we're going to add more to it later. Right. And so I say just brandable is more important. Okay. So something cool and brandable. That makes it a lot easier to find a domain name because we can just be a little more creative with so it. So we could go more just general home improvement if we're going real big. Not yeah. just about fun stuff you could what do. What about house. like cool things you could do in a weekend? Like weekendproject.com. Weekend project. That's probably taken, but we'll Yeah, see. I'm sure it is. Everything obvious is taken. Yeah, it's taken. Taken. Um, um, okay. Let's think outside. Okay, the Home Depot commercials, you know, they're like, who's the dude with the deep voice? Yeah, yeah. The whatever. That's, That's the, the power, power of the Home Depot, <laughs> that guy. Yeah. Um, like, it needs to be like, Hammer Soldier or Drill Warrior. Drill I, Warrior. I like that. <laughs> and it's like a guy with a drill with like war paint. I actually could really see that. Okay, so Drill does work? that is work it for... obvious? Like, would people know? Would it sound like the dentist? <laughs> it might. But if this was like a general, like, home projects, home improvement, general... Like... And the logo could sell it. Yeah. I mean, uh, a working drill doesn't look like a dentist drill. Uh -huh. And the war paint... I mean, you could even have the guy, like, in overalls or, like, a, con a hat that, you know... I mean, it, it, you could make it really clear. Okay. The branding could make it work really, really I like well. I this. Let's give it a try. Let's see. Is it available? Oh, that's right. We got to know. 
<laughs> I I mean, it's weird enough that it might be, but then again, fun, 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 fun. It's available. Well, is Hammer Soldier better? Oh, it could be. I like Warrior, though, better. What if it was like Hammer Warrior? Hammer Warrior. Because mm. Hammer is a little bit more general known. Yeah, it's very obviously home improvement, but I don't know. There's still something about Drill, Drill Warrior. Warrior. We don't have much time. We got to just go nope. with it. All right. Do you like it enough? I like it enough. Let's just right. register it. Don't okay. Make name. Okay. We got to split up. I will. I will start on the the search analysis. We got to find okay. articles. Yeah, we do. Okay. Well, I got to find articles. Do you mind registering it and getting WordPress installed? Yep. Let's do it. Let's okay. Do it. Now, how are we going to get content on this thing? Right. We've we have go three to hours. Content mills. We are going to have to go to content mills. So that's another thing. Um, cause the search analysis can take a while. Um, maybe I can research some content mills because the fact is we've never used one before mm -hmm. and this is going to be a perfect opportunity we've to test them. We've always hired our own outsourced writers. Exactly. Freelancers or, um, our creator studio. Now. So what if we get like, we go to like five of them, have them each write whatever three or four posts yeah. and then we could share the results here on like yeah. how each one performed and how much it costs. I like that. So maybe it's like. Anywhere from like six to eight articles per one, uh, depending on how many we can find. Yeah, I don't know how many really there are. Okay. Okay. I'll do. The, I'm going to okay, set up the you site. You set up the site. I'll do the search analysis. And then we'll come back. Then we'll order the articles. And so this is three hours of our time in yes. working. Yes. And it's both of our time, so it's really like six hours for one person. That's true. And the writers, but it's like it's three hours of of us. Three hours working. of our time. Anyway, I think that counts. It's cool. It's, Let's we're do it. We're not getting too clickbaity. All right, I'm working on the search analysis while Ricky is working on getting the website set up, our template, our WordPress, SSL, all that stuff. So we've recently made a pretty significant uh, adjustment to our process for how we're doing search analysis or what people used to call keyword research, uh, which I think is just not a great term. It doesn't match what things are like today because it's not just about keywords anymore. That's very old school SEO. So in the new course that's available right now on project 24 it's a very in-depth full featured course if you're one of the project 24 members definitely go back and do that even if you've already created your hit list if you're on beyond step eight because it's it really i think has some very high value things um, in that new version of our search analysis course so I want to walk you through the rudimentary idea of what we're doing here, but I've got to get going here on our actual site. So we want to start with what we call our brand plan. A brand plan is really where you're just thinking of, okay, we have our topic, Drill Warrior. That could go incredibly broad. It could be everything from, you know, creating a garden in your backyard um, to, you know, installing wainscoting, to fixing your squeaky door or a door that jam that's too tight, or uh, when do you need to replace the roof on your house or painting your house? I mean, it could just go so broad. Anything kind of home improvement-ish is going to fit on this website. So the benefit of creating a brand plan is where we divide that main topic into a bunch of smaller topics. And when we do that, it helps us decide what topics to write because we can divide them among the different subcategories in there. That keeps us from getting too pigeonholed in our content because maybe I write a whole bunch of articles just on uh, something laser focused like uh, um, smart, smart doorbells. And then we find later on that, you know, those were too competitive or didn't quite have the search volume. Now we wasted the whole site. And so we want to kind of test out a bunch of different areas with our first batch of content. So I am going to do that just in an Excel document. So in Excel, now I have our general categories, um, things like home repairs, home upgrades, um, as our kind of major kind of categories. And then we'll have tons of different sub subcategories within those as well. I mean, we could have 200 different kind of areas of things like, you know, wainscoting, tile, drywall, etc. You could go forever on kind of those subcategories. And then we actually need to dive into the actual search analysis. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll use our regular Google alphabet soup method 
I'm going to type, you know, um, drywall A, anchors, axe, B, C, D, drywall E, drywall F. And these are a ton of ideas of exactly what people are searching Got on it. Google. Got it. The site's up. Google. All right, let's go see it. <laughs> okay. I got our hosting set up and basically here's what we do when we start a new, a new site is um, we take, we've created this template file. It's got our theme on it. It has categories, everything set up. And we basically copy, um, make a copy of that entire website on a new website. So first what I have to do is go into our hosting, uh, put the, point the domain there, set up that domain on the hosting. But then I just duplicate this website. So all of our settings are there. Now I, all I have to do is go in, change the name of the website and start adding content. So 22 minutes in, we have a website. You got SSL? Up. We've got SSL on it already too. That only took, that takes like 10 seconds now. It's really host. nice having that template, that it template is. site. It's just boom. Yeah, I just load the template on and then I just went in, I requested a Let's Encrypt SSL and we are up and running. Okay, so next. Uh, we should probably get a logo because this is gonna look dorky. Okay, um, I can work on the logo. Let me spend a little bit of time researching the different content mills. Okay. So you do a logo, I'll do content mills. Let's go. Let's do it. We are now 47 minutes in. <laughs> We're doing pretty good. I'm yeah, I think say. we've accomplished a ton. We have chosen our topic. We have done started the search analysis anyway. Uh, got everything installed on the website. Now I have our logo. Da 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 da. <laughs> and so for this, I just added text and I got a vector image that I'm able to license for that. It looks okay, I guess, for right now. Eventually, I think it'd be cooler to have, you know, the person, but the person whatever. logo that we it's, talked about. It's whatever. It's something. So our logo is ready. I need to export this in and get this on the website. And you have been looking at... I've checked out a bunch of the different content mills. I looked at some of the recommendations that have been made by other people in this industry that use these regularly. Um, there are really three that I settled on that I want to try. Um, the first one is called iWriter. The second one is called Text Broker. And the third one is Hire Writers. They all work kind of the same way. Um, Hire Writers, it looks like this website was made in like 1995. Oh my goodness, that yeah. is a joke. Um, it's very Web 2.0. <laughs> it is, it is. Um, but I'm interested to see what the content looks like when we get it back. I'm a little bit Don't less... judge a book by its I, cover. Exactly. Don't judge blog writing by the, Although if you're by making, the content mill website. Exactly. If you're making a website, Web 2.0 is not the way to go. <laughs> um, you should make it more a little bit more modern. But I'm excited to try these. But I thought it would be really cool if kind of we did a head-to-head. -head. What if we did like eight articles on each of these and then another eight that we send off to our creator studio? Ooh, so we get 32 articles from four different services. One of them is just our own internal service. Okay. I think that'd be kind of cool. So we need to come up with 32 topics for articles and then we'll send them off and uh, then we'll probably, we'll have to stop for the day um, and just pick this up another day because it's going to obviously take a little time. Okay. Now we're, we, we need to have a separate video on this, on all the details of how for everything sure. turned out there. So we will have posted a separate video by the time this publishes just kind of diving into all the details. We'll link it up here. It was published last, it will have been published last week on our YouTube That's video, right. YouTube channel. Yep. All right, we are now at one hour and 22 minutes. I feel like I'm like sweating. Yeah. <laughs> this is, <laughs> been crazy. This is breakneck speed. Um, so we have finished the search analysis at this point. So we kind of want to walk you through a little bit of what we learned going through this. So you can apply it on your own three hour income site. Um, it was slow going in the first 15 minutes. Yeah. I was starting to get a little nervous. Like, man, is it going to take us three hours just to do the search analysis? And then it felt like we found a couple cracks in the niche that we were able to dive down in a little bit. And that's yeah. where the brand plan really helps. Because if you get stuck and just everything drywall is, you know, taken or too competitive or not very good search volume, you're kind of stuck, yeah. but then we just go back to the brand, brand plan and we bounce back and say, okay, well, let's try a couple articles in this topic or that topic. Um, so where I found the first crack for me was shiplap. I was thinking Chip and Jojo yep. gains. <laughs> um, I thought that's going to be popular. People are searching that right now. Um, and I was surprised there wasn't that much competition for things like, can you have shiplap in a bathroom? 
Um, or uh, what else did we have? Wet uh, and humid rooms. Does Joanna Gaines use laminate flooring? Um, there were just quite a few keywords that were, or there were quite a, there were quite a few topics that were related to Chip and Jojo that kind of got me going on shiplap. So I only added like four or five of those because I don't want to pigeonhole us. Right, exactly. You wouldn't want to, we wouldn't want our first 32 articles to all be on that same path. So mm -hmm. as we were looking around, I remembered, uh, it seems like at your last house and even at this house, like you guys have been on this like wainscoting kick. Mm -hmm. I love <laughs> like wainscoting. Like wainscoting everywhere. Love and you guys put it in on the staircase. And so I kind of went down that path for a little while, uh, wainscoting, and I found that... Um, or wainscoting if you're in the UK. Um, <laughs> and I found several topics as well um, on wainscoting that were just totally low competition. Yeah, uh, there were quite a few wainscoting patterns and ideas and different yeah. things like that. How much does um, it, you know, how much does it, can you paint wainscoting? How much does it cost to install wainscoting? Mm -hmm. um, and then there were just some other just kind of topics of fun things. Uh, we kind of got on a fun kick too. Yes. Uh, like how to make an epic 100 foot long slip and slide. And taking some of the ideas we had when we were doing the, picking a topic like the $500 fun. Well, we did yeah. an article on that, like 11 home improvement project ideas under $500. And so, you know, that's something that could do really well on in Pinterest. It may do well in search, but it's probably pretty, pretty competitive as well. So anyway, we're done now. We have finished our search analysis for Drill Warrior. It's here, and you've kind of split them up into right. Which I divvied ones them up, where. but we did it totally randomly. Like I didn't take a group of articles and put them in any one place. I wanted them to be pretty pretty evenly dispersed so that we could get a, a more I don't know just a random sample of the type of content we get back from each one of these. Very cool. All right, we are done with this. Yeah, we kind of we'll need send to send them off for writing, and then. Yeah, we, we so we're to gonna take a mental break. <laughs> break for today. Uh, we're gonna send these off for writing. It, it said they take between three days and a week yeah. to get back to us, and so we're gonna stop our timer for today. We're not allowed to do any more work on Drill Warrior. It's frozen, and uh, we're gonna send this off to the writers, and then we'll come back in a week. We probably should wear these same shirts to kind of sell it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back in a week once we have all the content, and then we've got to actually put it on and do the monetization yeah, and that for sure. kind of stuff. Okay, we got our content back. Yep. Um, it's been eight it days now. It took eight now. days to get all of it back. Um, and so we're ready to add it on. We just got to add images, kind of quick look at it, make sure it's yep. okay. So, yeah. So let's just get into that. Um, okay. We're going to probably have to take just a couple minutes on each post just to kind of quick go through it, fix any formatting stuff. We also have to copy and paste them all over, so it's gonna. We're gonna have to do the formatting, but um, and then add add photos. So cool. You take half, I'll take half. Let's go. All right. We did it. We How did was it. the last one? Now, quick, ten second impression. What are your thoughts on the quality of the content? Okay. We didn't know which brokerage, which company did which ones. Yeah, so. we talked about this a lot last week in our video. Yeah. But my general take is that they were really indistinguishable like some authors were better than others from each service but i couldn't tell like oh this service just had better quality writers overall they were about the same and what about the quality in general um it's not what an experienced blog owner would write it's not what i would hope to write in a blog post but could is it good enough that i think it could rank yeah in fact, I expect cool. these posts to rank. I expect next year when we do a video and we kind of look back at these posts, these ones. I, I expect that some of them are bringing in some traffic. All right, so here's the website. It is up. You can go check it out at drillwarrior.com. And if I can get myself to scroll down, we got all these articles up here. 32 articles published. Just with stock photos, real simple. Stock photos. This is the seed of what can potentially become an awesome income site. So. And when you see this, you probably may will see other articles on there. That's yep. one we're already we're just going to toss this to our creator studio right Sweet. away to get them started. So, we did the whole site, three hours. We have fifteen minutes left. <laughs> um, granted, you know we outsourced the writing, but three hours work. of our time working on this together, I think it was pretty cool. Not a bad kind of a fun experiment. Cheers. Cheers.